crew so young and a hundred guns aboard her. Nothing came close to the pride of the British Navy. There's a fleet on the way and the people are afraid, Lord Nelson. Will you save us please so England can be free forever? They sailed at dawn and the wind was fair, a sense of pride in the air. God bless the victory, here comes the victory. Gather round, boys, I've got something to tell you. England expects me and all of you to do your duty. And when he raised the flag, their spirits were high above them. God bless the victory. Here comes the victory. Ahead, a terrible sight, a hundred ships ready to fight. The sound of thunder, it sounds like thunder. And when he rang the bell, they sailed into hell, her guns on fire, her guns on fire. Then the main swung around with rigging falling down around them. There's a sniper up above, I saw his face, I don't wanna die, I don't feel safe. Is that lightning? It looks like lightning. Then the Santa Anna came from a leeward shore, she Disappear with a mighty roar There's no one there And no one cared They came out ahead with thousands dead And this is what he said As he lay dying Here's to the victory God bless the victory God bless the victory. Yeah, bless the victory. I'd like to introduce you to Mark Langford, who composed the song. And uh, so tell me, Mark, what inspired you to write this song about Lord Nelson? Well, when I was a child in primary school, they taught us a bit about uh, Lord Nelson and the battle, various battles he was in. And it always stuck in my mind what an incredibly brave person Lord Nelson was. He was a hero to the English people and still is today. Um, Later in life, there was a song that uh, was uh, was a hit from Roger, uh, Roger Whittaker called The Last Farewell. And in there was a line that I've actually rearranged a little bit in my song, uh, where he talks about how they sail into hell with her guns on fire. And that, to me, struck a chord, because I tried to imagine uh, what it would be like. Can you imagine what it would be like going into a battle with cannons yelling, smoke, men screaming, orders being yelled out. It would have been chaos. Um, so I used that line uh, that they sailed into hell with their guns on fire. Um, there's another part of the song that, uh, reading the history, that before he went into the Battle of Trafalgar, uh, Nelson signaled to all of his crew members via flags 
um, about how England expects every man to do his duty. And that resulted in a big cheer uh, heard right across the, the waters because um, it inspired the men to want to go in there and win that battle for their country. So I, I put that in there because uh, it had, a, it had a, a big effect on the crew and it helped them to win the battle, I feel. Later in the song, uh, there's a line that Santa Ana came, which was a Spanish ship, from the leeward shore. She disappeared with a mighty roar, meaning that on a broadside there was smoke everywhere and it, it would have disappeared. Um, and no one cared because in the heart of battle you don't think about the consequences of what's actually happening. But of course in reality, uh, the effect for all the wives and the, the family of these men that died, they did care and it had, and I wrote that line to make people think about the horror of war and battle, especially in those days where you're fighting at close quarters. <laughs>